Please welcome in if you're new or just passing through to my channel. Welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back, squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. I may say them when I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the past, the present, or the future. Take only the parts that resonate and leave everything else behind. If you would like to book a personal, more aligned with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box, or you can go straight to my website, enlightenedauntie.com. I am running a fall special for um, live sessions with me at the price point of 111. 11 normally, they're at 155.55. So if you want to work with me one on one, get in where you fit in because I'm only taking two bookings per day while the special is running. All right. Um,. So while I was meditating, I started playing with um, my picture cards just to kind of see what energy they pull up. And child, let me tell you, <laughs> I just think and as much as I cleanse my decks and the area around my desk, um, especially the decks that I use a lot. And I haven't actually used this deck in a while. It's still so interesting how the energy is still very, very fluid and it still shows up no matter which deck I pull on the story still shows up um in the current energy i haven't even i haven't even done the full spread but i just so what i'm looking at here is current energy past past recent past near future um the environment and what's in the background that's affecting the environment so <laughs> it looks like there is Someone here who has not been listening to or heeding the guidance that spirit has been giving them. Um, I feel as though spirit's been trying to lead them in a particular direction. Um, I am seeing some forms of resistance here. And what's interesting is that collective for those of you who i'm talking about the my truth tellers people who have been um you know the black sheep of your family or hell just a black sheep in your damn environment because you're not like everybody else right um i feel like you may have spoken something there was something that you said you may have gotten some type of intuitive download um or just you may have known and because of that, you may have expressed yourself or you may have brought some things to light that people around you did not know. OK, um, it's what's really interesting is I've been getting downloads um, today that are really revolving around lies and the ability to tell the truth. Um, I just literally tweeted these out. Um People will listen to a liar, tell several versions of a lie, and still give them the benefit of the doubt, but will dismiss the truth teller because the truth challenges their belief system. The truth does not change, but a lie does. Um, and then my follow-up was, people mistaken my, silent, my silence for weakness or fear, but what they don't understand is that on a normal day, I would prefer to choose chaos. Anybody who knows me personally knows that I... I will turn it up and burn it down. <laughs> um, because unlike many, I actually know how to thrive in chaos. I know how to thrive in chaos. Why? Because that's what's been filling my my energetic field for a really long time. So I've learned how to navigate despite the chaos that may be kind of around me. And those of you who have learned to operate in the chaos People are really afraid of that. They're afraid of it because, like I said, people have been attacking the collective, but targeting points, like, like I said, like I've been saying, targeting points that we've already healed so they don't really affect us in the same way that it may affect them, you know, like they, you know, they, they target us to try to get people to, you know, walk away from us and isolate us and leave us alone, not realizing that we're okay in hermit energy. We're actually okay being by ourselves. Um, 
they've done things to affect our earning ability and the ways that we make money, yet our bills are still paid, yet we still manage to find ways to work or to or to make it work. Even when we don't have a lot to work with, we've learned how to make it work. We've learned how to work with very little when it's necessary. Um, if those people had been placed in the same situations that we've been placed in, they would crumble. They would, they would fall definitely. Okay. Um, what I find really interesting is in the environment, there's someone here who has been a shapeshifter and they are losing their ability to shapeshift. They're losing their ability to hide or mask what it is that they are. Um, I do feel as though there is someone here who has been trying to hide with obfuscate and abundance here in the environment. Somebody here has been trying to hide resources or hide money. Um, they may be trying to hide that to, they may have hidden it initially to prevent someone from starting a new life. Um, they were hoping what's interesting is because in the background, what they've been hoping for was the fact that you would stay blind or asleep to what has been going on. Um, what they wanted, especially for those who are chosen. Anybody who's listening to this. If you're part of my collective, you're chosen. You've been chosen. You have overcome all kinds of obstacles that were meant to make you crumble and fall. But you were able to rise above them. And what's happening is they're afraid because everything that they try to throw at you has been a failure. Everything that they tried to do to make you slow down, to make you stop, to make you crumble, to make you fall... It didn't work. All of a sudden, I'm feeling very emotional. This doesn't feel like me. Because <laughs> I'm fine. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Whoever's watching me. I know it's been hard. I know it's been hard. But you're finally breaking free from a toxic connection or toxic relationship that has no more life. And I really believe that whoever it is that you've been dealing with has been very afraid of your transformation, has been very afraid of you waking up to see the truth. All right. Let's clarify. Yeah, whatever they've been doing, and the thing about it is they thought whatever they were doing would be like a permanent fix to create a specific kind of life for them, but they're being stopped. I also feel as though this person had been given a choice as well. And it almost feels as though they're like, when I say they've been given a choice, it kind of feels like God presented them with, with a better way to do things. And because this person decided to keep on going, God stepped in and said, no, no more. Collective, you may have, as the truth teller, you may have been very reluctant at one point to speak up. And it may not even be the fact that you've just been reluctant to speak up. It just could be like 
what is that le- 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 leaving let sleeping dogs lie like you just were like you know i don't even i'm not even a party to this anymore so it doesn't really make that big of a deal um but i kind of feel like you've been pushed you're being pushed you're being guided to speak your truth to speak up okay Listen, and part of the reason why you're releasing this toxic connection is because the other person is not taking any, they're, they're, there's no accountability here. There's no, they're, they're not coming forward to correct the situation or to clean it up. And because of that, you have just deemed this whole thing a wash. Like it's not, this is not part of your reality. You don't want any parts of it. Okay. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, this person, whatever abundance that they've acquired, that they've been trying to hide, they didn't do anything to acquire it in terms of, they didn't work for it. So this isn't money that, if the, whatever this abundance is, and, you know, I look at abundance in all forms, but this truly is, they did not work. They didn't do any work. They didn't, they didn't do any of the heavy lifting that it required in order to acquire or achieve this abundance. And they have to let you go because, <laughs> listen, they're worried about losing, they're, they're worried about losing their home. They're worried about being ostracized, especially if it comes to light about the way that, you know, they've treated you or the way that they did you. This person has been a shapeshifter. Like I said, they can't do it anymore. They can't hide it anymore. And I'm kind of, it's funny because I'm looking at this. They're afraid to let you go, but they don't even, they're not even loyal to you and they never have been. So I don't even understand what the problem is. They're terribly ungrounded though, because they know it's a matter of time before everything just kind of implodes. Yeah, they're literally trying to hide the fact. Oh. Wow. <sighs> okay. So it kind of feels like they're trying, what they're trying to hide is the fact that, okay, because it's come up in the Kipper before, that's kind of what this is looking like to me, where, you know, that somebody loses, they lose their finances, they lose their abundance, and then somebody has to, like, work, somebody has to go get a job, and that's kind of what this looks like, too, it's like, whatever this abundance is, they didn't actually... They didn't do anything to, you know, to acquire. They didn't build, they didn't do any of the, the foundational steps to build this abundance. And what they're kind of worried about is the fact that they, what they don't want people to see is like, I think this person does have to go back to work. They may have to work. Um, they don't want people to see this. They don't, they don't want people to know. Okay. So this may be child this could literally be like a an older person like a like a parent or something like that who like say they're of a retirement age but because they've been moving kind of funny that they may have to come out of retirement because they don't actually have the resources that they need in order to like take care of themselves okay um I also get the energy here too of they wanted you to be like, I've said this before, like this, whoever this person is, they were trying to affect your life in such a way where you would be alone, that you would be orphaned. But I think part of their fear also is the fact that you would wake up because now that you're awake, you are now calling in your, your true soul tribe 
And they have to walk away from this. They have to walk away from you. They've got to walk away from this entire situation because it's not in alignment. I heard let it burn. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what it means, but like in, in context for you, I don't know what that means for you. Let it burn. Let me know in the comments if that means something to you. Yeah, so now somebody is feeling out in the cold. They're feeling out in the cold because it, I feel like they realize where they may have made some missteps. I am also getting the energy. Somebody here did something very hasty. Very, very hasty. And they're unable to continue doing it. Oh yeah, somebody here is getting negative karma and it it may have something to do with the with the words that you're speaking. It may have something to do with your word the words the specific words that you're speaking. I am getting a mother energy here and I did say this could be like an elderly parent, an older person. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost like somebody here who hasn't been working, who's not in the workforce anymore. I'm getting that strong energy. It's like somebody who hasn't, who's not in the work, who hasn't been in the workforce, but has to go back to the workforce. And they don't want, they don't want people to know about that though. They don't want people to know it's because they've like kind of come like, so people have known this person to live. I heard high on the hog is price. I've said that actually before. And it's not even a that's Honestly, high on the hog is not even a phrase that I would use on a normal basis. Like I don't, I don't that's not part of my lingo, but someone here, it g likes to give off the illusion of I heard being a know-it-all they want to come off as being very respected or they may have been very respected in the past. Um, but it's a facade because this person is a shapeshifter. They've been operating in this shapeshifting energy this whole time. Yeah, so whatever they've been trying to do, I feel like I've said this before. I told you it's interesting how all the, I'm using different cards and the same message keeps coming out. This person, whatever they were trying to do and the reason why they were trying to stay connected to you in this toxic connection, it was mainly for resources. Ten of Pentacles. It was mainly for resources and stability, especially like I said, if this person has to go back to work and they not they don't want people to know that. But they were there. The thing is that you're releasing the connection. So they're unsuccessful in being able to like attach back to your energy for the benefit of your coins. Now they're in regret that they didn't actually take the steps that they, yeah, they're, listen, they're in regret that they didn't actually take the steps that they should have taken in order to create a foundation either between you or just for themselves in order to like make sure that they're stable later in life. Um, collective, I believe that you just kind of moved in silence. You may have just kind of bowed out. I'm going to always use that Homer Simpson in the bushes analogy because that's what I see. Like you kind of bowed out, but you bowed out very quietly. You bowed out very, very quietly. And this other person is starting to freak out because they were trying to affect your stability and it has your, your stability has been unshaken. Yes, it might have been a little wobbly along the way. You know, I'm not even going to front. You may have experienced a little bit of hardship, but in that hardship, you learn to be creative with your resources and you learn to manage with what you had. Um, it still puts you, you know, several steps ahead of them because this person whoever I'm talking about, they don't necessarily have that skill set. They don't, 
they've been like I said, this person's been very, very comfortable living a, a very comfortable life that they didn't actually build to create. They're 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 doing this off the back of somebody else, and they never planned. This is the thing: poor planning. This person did not plan for the future. They thought that whatever their circumstance was or whatever they were doing, like it would carry them for the rest of their lives, and that's not what's happening. This is somebody here. This is a, somebody's parent who poorly calculated their retirement situation. This plan is failing miserably. Oh, yeah, they are not feeling very abundant right now. And now they're dealing with a whole bunch of confusion because they did not anticipate having to deal with this situation. They did not anticipate it. They feel very much like abandoned by God right now. But again, like I always say, like you throw in funky ass energy at people and the collective is doing their return to senders. It's got to go somewhere, especially as I don't even have any moon cards out here as of yet especially if somebody's been out here and I've been here because I've heard it across tarot land, people trying to do, you know, moon magic under these eclipses, baby, I would never, I would never, I would never do it. I would never recommend somebody here made some missteps and they miscalculated. They miscalculated heavily and now they're stressed because Things aren't kind of going the way that they thought. And it, it's largely because this person was delusional to begin with. So. there Now you got somebody here is obsessively watching you. Terribly unhappy because they're starting to lose oh yeah terribly unhappy because they foolishly decided to come after the collective i really wish i understood the end game now here's the thing Here's the thing. I have the energy here of somebody who get look that's coming to light. Ho, ho, ho. Oh yeah, look what's coming to light. So what I have here is like I said, they they wanted whatever this is, they they are trying to hold on to the collective. It, I said it's been largely because of finances or because of your resources. They need somebody to take care of them. But here's the thing. They may want to come towards you trying to, you know, there may be some type of like windfall. There is some abundance. Like I said, there may be some abundance that's coming towards you or that's due to you. And it's due to maybe your success, whatever you've been doing. You may have a, a, a new opportunity coming to you. This could be a windfall. This could be some type of inheritance. But what I'm seeing is I have the energy of people in the background that kind of want to take advantage of whatever this opportunity or inheritance may be. If there's some kind of windfall that's due to you, I feel as though you've got people that are very, very close in proximity, not necessarily in your energy, but they certainly want to be in your energy. They want a piece of the pie. Here, let me help you manage this money let me let me help you but it's in a it's it's under the guise of helping but really let me help myself to what's yours and it's because somebody here they've been trying to well justice is coming out so the truth about somebody here trying to to create blockages um especially if you're an entrepreneur like, I kind of get the energy here of justice coming out. I think I said in a couple of readings ago where there may have been an opportunity that was meant for the collective, but somebody, like, kind of stepped in and took it. Um, but even when they stepped in and took it, they ended up fumbling the bag because they didn't really know what they were doing. 
and the truth is about to come out. Yes, the justice and the sun. The truth is about to come out. And now people are very concerned about the potential of Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles in the reverse with the Tower. Somebody here is very concerned about the potential of incarceration, um, about either losing this, losing some money, something money like it's something built. I heard it was like, like a house of cards. It's something that was built on a faulty foundation. And whatever this is that they did, yeah, they've been hiding it the whole time. Okay, so. Child. An ex may be involved. An ex may be involved. Okay, this is a whole separate message, and this ain't for everybody. Somebody here may have may have paid, bribed, offered money to an ex of yours in order to like break you up. Like, say if you're in a relationship now, somebody may have paid or bribed your ex to approach you to try to you know reel you in confuse you or whatever to break up your union child yeah and they feel terribly burdened by the lie because they're also now oh so okay i'm just drilling from the bottom of this deck so somebody here may have bribed or paid someone to interfere in your relationship to create some kind type of waves or whatever between you and your partner to like separate you right but they're very burdened now by all of the lies that they've told and this person is also experiencing some negative karma i see it across the board there's negative karma being felt by you know one or more people Somebody here potentially losing their home. Somebody here may have lost their job. Somebody here is they're freaked out. Somebody's scared. They're having nightmares. Um, having nightmares about having to start over again. You know. <laughs> I don't feel any kind of way about people that move funny. If you get, If you move funny... I think I said this to somebody yesterday. I'm like, you know, when folks move funny, I just move out their way and let them be a let them be a comedian by themselves. Yeah, so somebody it's crazy because <sighs> this person is steadily watching you. Steadily watching you and they see you know what's interesting is that what they see is they see that you're very detached from them that you have your boundaries erected and they're very very firm but you're still like I said I've, I've said it in other readings like you're still you still come across as approachable you're very you're still very loving and kind and nurturing just not to them yes and the crazy part about it is you are everything that this person is not. You are everything that they are not. You are everything that they are not. You are stable. You are smart. You're highly intuitive. You're very creative. You got ideas for days. If you're a parent, you're a wonderful parent. You have a wonderful relationship with your children. Yeah, so this person may be, yeah, whatever they did, they can't do it anymore. I think you even knew that whoever you were dealing with, you knew that they were disloyal and you knew that they were not team players You or or this is, or you kind of, this is you setting up, putting, you know, like putting your balance. That's why you released it because you recognize that whoever you were dealing with, they weren't a team player to begin with. 
And all this person wanted to do was win at all costs. They've been trying to come after you, but what's happening is they've been kind of trying to come after you while they're losing it all. I really feel like if somebody had been paying more attention to what was going on in their own life, yeah, they wasted more time chasing after you, trying to figure, they threw money at this. Whatever, the, they, they threw money at this, and all they did was fail. Nothing but failure. The tower. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's shitting bricks now because everything that they acquired, everything that they amassed that they didn't actually work for is, is being removed from their sphere. They want they wanted your life. Like I said, you've been you've had to be creative in how you navigate your circumstances. A lot of the energy and the pushback and the and the difficulties that you know, some of the difficulties that you have faced. I want to say a lot of it was it was an energetic push that that you really did not need. And I say push like resistant push like here you are, you know, it's kind of like you move 10 paces back and the energy that they're pushing on you pushes you five paces back. But it may have slowed you down, but it hasn't stopped you completely. And while you may have had to experience a bunch of adversities, a bunch of changes along the way. If you really think about what you've experienced, you'll realize just how far you've been able to come despite the adversity. You're much stronger. It just made you stronger, you know. It made you stronger, but what I can guarantee you is that when this energy comes circling back to these people that have been projecting it onto you, they will not be able, I don't think that they'll be able to survive it. And I don't mean like it's going to take them out or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, I don't think that they have the wits, the creativity, the patience to navigate the same energies that you've had to navigate. You had no choice. You've had to survive, right? We've been in survival mode for a really long time. You've had to survive. And so at this level, I feel like... They're not equipped to deal with the level of adversity that was thrown at you. So when it comes circling back to them, it's going to look like devastation. Collective, do not get involved. Do not get involved. Somebody here may also be fearing death. Fearing death, fearing judgment, and fearing the truth coming out. And the thing about it is they may be like while they may be trying to watch you and and do and like dig into your life or whatever, my nose is itching. If they're trying to dig into your life, they're really having a difficult time because you're you're protecting yourself and you may be doing things in silence. I, I'm, I have it in a few places. You're doing things in silence. So even if people were trying to go behind the scenes and try to like steal your work or, or try to figure, I definitely get the sense that somebody here is trying to figure out what your next move is. And they can't. They are obsessively watching you and digging because they want to know what you've got up your sleeve next. They want to know how how do they affect your next moves. They don't know what your next moves are. So des definitely has like stagnated this person heavily because they don't know how to attack you. Meanwhile, like I've been saying, their life is on fire. Everything around that, like their life is on fire. Everything around them is crumbling. Why? Because they've been investing all of their time and energy on trying to bring you down, not realizing that the energy that they're projecting onto you or throwing at you, it's just bouncing off of you and going right back to them. And it's not even going, I'm going to tell you, because it's I've gotten downloads where some of the energy that they have been projecting out towards you, while it's not hitting you, it is bouncing back. Sometimes it's bouncing off of it's bouncing off of you and it's hitting people close to them, not necessarily affecting them. It doesn't necessarily go directly to them, but it's hitting people that they care about. It's hitting people that they love. 
Karma. Karma. And they out here with no protection. Whatever it is they've been doing. Yeah, whatever it is that they've been doing, they're being prevented from doing it. Um, and I feel like you, you've you kind of, you've moved on. Energetically, physically, mentally, you the world is the bottom of the deck. You've moved on. You've already learned whatever lesson that you needed to learn out of the entire situation. Um, and there's really, it's you don't find any benefit of sticking around. There's no reason to stay. Stay for what? You've already experienced everything you needed to experience. You learned everything you needed to learn. We don't need to repeat that again. I said they don't they don't, they don't want people to know that they have to work. This person is going to have to work. They stole from you. They are trying to hide that. They stole from you. And if you are in partnership, they've been trying to block that. You, they've been trying to block your union or been trying to like prevent you from from having a happy union. Yep, they worried about they're worried about incarceration <sighs> they're worried about incarceration especially if there's been some theft that has been hidden said over here with this abundance they're worried about it yeah okay so there's been a message here there's a message here that may have been due to come to you but you haven't received it about some great fortune. Other people in your family may know about this. Or there are other people that know about this. Yeah. And they're worried about. Yeah. That's what it is. This whole thing. They're worried about losing this abundance. But the abundance didn't belong to them in the first place. But they're worried about losing it. They're worried about losing it and they're worried about having to go to work. They're worried about having to having to find employment. Scales. That's justice. Yes, they stole. Look at this. The so the thief is about to be out. They stole this great fortune. They've been trying to prevent <laughs> journey in the reverse of brick wall. They've been trying to block somebody's union or they've been trying to block the progress of your union. Yep. Listen. There was an inheritance here that was derived from a marriage. Other people know about it. Your there's a family home that may be involved. The community, the outer community are aware of it. They're aware that whatever this money or abundance that they've been living off of was because of the marriage that they were involved in. And they are really, really worried about it. They're worried about losing this abundance. Now, I also see here that somebody here has been trying to either put a obstacle okay so what it's giving me is like they may have even said like if they were spreading lies or whatever about you they were spreading lies to their community or their you know like their friends or the rest of your family or whatever in order to keep a wedge between you and the family so if they're telling the family a bunch of lies and bs about you and they don't have access to you they can't ask you any questions so they're just and then you're like i think i've said this like a few readings back like maybe i don't know maybe a month ago where i said like you can't defend yourself because you're not even in the room so they're talking shit about you and people are just there listening but you're not available to dispute anything that's being said this person has been purposely putting a wedge between you and your family or the, this community of people so that you can't tell your truth. Listen, they've been trying to, this person is worried about going to jail, but
but there is some hidden information here about some sudden wealth from a wealthy man. There may be an official look mature woman at the bottom of the mature woman at the bottom of the deck. She worried about poverty, but there may be an official person coming towards you to give you this information. Yeah, with the chariot. Mm hmm. There may be some official person coming towards you. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do one more pass. Listen, I said the lies are about to come out. Somebody is scared. The Empress is out here three times in the same spot. People are now starting to see you like people. So this person could have been spreading all kind of lies about you again because you're not in the room to actually defend yourself. But people, there's some way that people are seeing you, hearing your truth or hearing whatever it is you have to say. And now people are seeing you in a different light. They're starting to like really take notice. Listen. This, okay, if we're talking about a mother figure. This woman this mother figure, this mature woman, she is jealous of the fact that, so say you're in a, you're already in partnership, you're, you know, you've got a healthy, whether you're married or not, but you're in a partnership, you have some kind of relationship and you're living in your wish fulfillment. You have your 10 of cups, you're good. Like everything is good. This mother figure energy is pissed. She's pissed and she is jealous. She is jealous. There is a toxic, this is a toxic ass relationship this woman is jealous of the life that you're living, the life that you've cultivated for yourself. She need to get a grip. Look at you, collective. Yeah, so there. You, here's the funny thing about it. Here's the funny thing. You started, your life kind of turned around the moment you started loving on yourself. And when you started loving on yourself and you stopped putting energy, especially if this is your mother, you stopped putting in energy to this person, child, your whole life turned around. Now they feel like they on the outside. They want what you have. Nine of pentacles in the reverse with this privileged lady in the upright. Child, they didn't work for none of this. Whatever they had or whatever they have, they didn't do anything to build onto their own foundation. They did not do anything to acquire any of this abundance that made them the privileged lady. And now they're worried because <laughs> they're worried. I do see somebody here. There may have been somebody here. I said somebody here may have paid somebody, but I also get somebody here may have paid a practitioner also to do something to affect your life in some kind of way and i said they're worried about this they're worried about the truth coming out they're worried about the truth coming out so somebody here was trying to knock you down a couple of couple of notches by spreading rumors and gossip and lies or whatever. Trying to keep you away from your family or keep you distanced from, you know, from people that normally you would have been, you know, good with. They led these people away from you. And the crazy part is that this person, whatever they've done, like the things that they're, they've done or things that they've been doing they don't take any kind of responsibility like they're they're not taking any accountability for their actions they just wanted to win they just wanted to win though the truth is coming out this person has been using smoke and mirrors they've been using smoke and mirrors somebody here they oh my goodness they can't even defend what they've done And I think I said this like in the last reading, like somebody, they, they prematurely celebrated a win that is not actually a win. Like these people thought that they were getting, yes, listen, the eight of swords with this 10 of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here thought that they was getting over and that's not what's happening. Somebody is getting hemmed up from some shit they did in the past. Mm-hmm. 
that is centered around money all because they wanted to be in some kind of one-sided competition with you mm -mm. Hmm. sucks to be them okay let's get some index cards there may be intense chemistry or attraction between you and your partner. Somebody is mad that they haven't stopped you or ended you. Somebody's unstable behavior is being seen. Somebody also exhibits racist behavior. Spirit has tested them and they failed. They're angry that their attempts have failed. You humbled them all. They think they know it all. The month of November may be a uh, of significance. Scorpio or Sagittarius may be significant. Somebody's baby daddy is out here. Somebody is self-absorbed and possessive. Collective, your confidence is soaring. You are no longer afraid. Somebody is experiencing legal trouble. There's a loss of money or assets. The month of October may be of significance. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. Somebody is codependent and needs support. Somebody utilizes word magic. There's forgery or falsification of records just below the legal troubles. The truth is being exposed. Hey, now, somebody has a big ego. Whatever love was there is no longer there. Collective, you've been gifted since birth. Somebody here is not a team player. This is a blessing in disguise. You prove them all wrong. You accept them for who they are and it is what it is. Somebody is throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Spirit says, go have fun. You are supported by your tribe. And somebody here is insecure. Bottom of the deck, secrets are coming out. So whatever lies have been told, they are being revealed. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra may all be of significance. And somebody's baby daddy is out here. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. All right, guys. Um, if any parts of this reading resonated for you or gave you clarity over your own situation, give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate it into the algorithm. Um, if you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. My books are always open. Um, I think I'm going to do a second reading. This was interesting. I'm going to do one more. All right. Um, love you guys. Till next time. Bye.